Has this ever happened to you? Or this, or this? Don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the PlayStation crash issue. I've seen some other videos on the topic as well, but the fixes were kind of not really fixes, so I wanted to take a try and take a swing at it myself. The easiest way to fix the issue is by not having the issue happen at all. Like that's, if there's no problem, there's no reason to have a fix, right? So what you wanna do is close the game after every single match. At the end of the match, you'll get to your end screen, click main menu, and then let the game get itself back to the main menu. I've noticed if you don't do that, you'll end up with complications when you relaunch the game. And then from there, just shut your game down and reopen it. And that's the process you're gonna have to do every single game. The bright side to this is you can skip all the intros so you can get back into the game relatively quickly. Just keep pressing X or A if it's happening on Xbox and you'll be able to get back to the main menu really, really quickly. This is the most efficient way and I haven't had any crashes or anything like that ever since I started doing this. So we got that out the way. Just don't have the problem and you you don't need to fix it. But what happens if you do run into the problem where it crashes your system? Well, do not unplug your PlayStation. All you need to do is hold the PlayStation button down longer than two beeps because it'll start shutting down and it'll freeze, but hold the PlayStation button down and keep holding it. Eventually, the PlayStation will just kind of shut itself off. Now, it could kind of be similar to unplugging it, but I feel like doing it on PlayStation's own terms rather than just unplugging it from the wall is probably a better solution in the long run. So if you do end up freezing, just hold the button, don't pull it out the wall. So after you're done holding the button and it shuts itself down, pop open Gigantic once more and just follow the steps that we said before. I also wanted to add one more fix to this video that's not pertaining to crashes, but there have been issues with queue times. I don't know if you've had this issue, but sometimes it will go past a minute. It doesn't take that long to find a match. The best way to fix this is to just stop the queue, restart the queue. If it still goes to at least like 30 seconds, what I'll do is I'll stop the queue, reset the game, and it will fix itself. Now I do understand these aren't complete 100% fixes, it's never gonna happen again, but this is a higher success chance to just not have the issue anyway until they're able to fix their game on their own. At least I can play match after match after match and not feel like I'm stuck freezing and crashing during loading screens and all that extra nonsense. It just doesn't happen anymore. I hope this video helped you. I will be pumping out more gigantic content in the future. The next video that we're gonna have up is the best characters for each role. I think that's super, super useful and there's some really good bangers of characters. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you subscribe, that way you don't miss it. Until next time, you know what I always say, that you guys are doing what? Popping often, we're locked in.